Hello everybody, this is Camelia from Calcedonia Sewing. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit special one. Uh, it's going to be a now review for a pattern, a sewing pattern or something like that, or a tutorial. It's going to be the unboxing of my new sewing machine. Uh, puff from the expression line, uh, Puff 720. This is replacing my older Puff, uh, Quilt Expression 4.2 which I had for the last four years and uh, it was a great uh, great sewing machine but I wanted a little bit more and I saw this one so I was thinking uh, I want that. It has a few uh, more uh, extra stitches that they are also on their high uh, and um, creative uh, icon that is costing a lot of money but this one has those stitches for uh, much lesser. So. Um, this, uh, I just want to say that the machine is completely paid by me with my own money. Nobody uh, paid me to make this, uh, this video. I'm only making it because when I decided on this machine, I searched a little bit, uh, I searched a little bit on YouTube to f try to find a video about it. Of course, on the PAF uh, website, there is a long sheet with all the, the information about this machine and about the, the, all the details and everything what you get, but I find it always nice to, to see. Uh, in a video uh, what uh, what uh, is uh, coming the machine with. So uh, this is why I'm making this. Um, as I said this is the apart from the expression line and these days they have an offer by when buying uh, a machine from this line you have a um, free uh, expression line um, present box and they say that the um, the value of this is uh, 200, uh, almost 200 euros. Um, that I, I was thinking, I, I did take a look in this box and I was thinking, oh my god, sewing is really expensive because you really don't get much for 200 bucks. So, uh, let's, uh, I am thinking, let's open the machine first and then we are going to open the, this little box to see uh, what, uh, what we get as extra. So let's see what we get. Here we have the manual that is uh, kind of thick with uh, all the information and uh, I know there are a lot of uh, things that are similar to my uh, um, to my older uh, Quilt Expression 4.2, but I know that the, because the, the screen is different, there is now a touch screen with a lot of uh, possibilities for the stitches. This is uh, also with a stitch creator. This is something that I need to, uh, to read very well to get the best out of uh, this machine. These uh, are those uh, floating stitches that I was talking about, that they have it in the creative uh, icon and uh, performance icon. Uh, also the ribbon stitches, can't wait to, to try those. As I said, uh, the price for this machine is um, much uh, lower than the, the creative line, but those are of course uh, really, really nice. Let's uh, see, so we have the manual. Next, uh, this, is going, this is the foot uh, panel. I love this and I hope this machine also has that with a small uh, click on the pedal the, um, the press of foot is, light, is uh, uh, going high, it's, lifted, it's getting lifted only by a small uh, press of the, of the foot pedal, that, that, that's something really nice, you don't need to, to uh, use uh, your knee lift or to press the button. The, ca the cables for the um, uh, for the power and for the pedal and also the coolest feature of this machine and I really when I decided to, that I want to have another machine a new machine this was uh, something that it was uh, at the top of my list a knee lift it's really like having a third hand on uh, when sewing so this is also there is another version of the so there were, there were, there were two machines that it came uh, end of last year. It was a 720 and a 710. Uh, one of the differences between 710 and 720 is that 720 has the knee lift and uh, the other one uh, doesn't have. 
Uh, this is a bag that is a little bit uh, broken here, but uh, I hope it's complete. With uh, all the, the presser fit uh, this machine is coming for, the stylus. And we are going to take a uh, look at this uh, in, a few, uh, in a few minutes. So, this is getting lifted up. And here is the machine. Let's see what we have here. This can go away. So, plastic cover. And this one has a hard cover also. Also something very cool. I don't really use it because my machine is getting used every day. So, but it's nice to, to have it. We'll take a look in a few uh, minutes. And here we have the machine. Let's see. I'm going to move the cam and uh, take out the machine. The machine is uh, the only thing that is still in this box because uh, I want to be sure that I'm not going to drop it or anything because I know it's, uh, it's really heavy. Okay, so the machine is out of the box. It's really heavy. I think it's a little bit more than uh, t 10, uh, 10 kilos. So I had to uh, put the box down to lift it up. I really like that uh, this one has, uh, I don't know if you can see, this one has now a very long, uh, what put it, like this. It has a very long handle, if I compare it with uh, the old puff which had just a small handle here. This is uh, very uh, uh, easy to hold. It's not that I'm going to go uh, on a walk with it, but you know if you move it around it's also uh, nice to have a very uh, good uh, uh, grip on it and I see that this is from plastic and plastic and inside has a metal uh, uh, a piece of metal to, to, to make uh, sure that it's not going to break So uh, this is the machine. I see that there is a paper for the inspection uh, uh, for the control and um, There are a few uh, tapes to hold it in place I need to get used to the color. The color on the on my older ones was that really uh, pink purple uh, color. So uh, not like this, but it was a little bit <laughs> pinky. And uh, this one is really uh, dark. Uh, uh, I would say uh, black. And I think this uh, little uh, purple uh, band here is nice. The 710 it has uh, it does has a nicer color, but again because of the knee lift, I uh, this was my uh, my my cho choice was uh, was really fast uh, made. So this is the machine. Uh, let's see. This is I cannot take this out. I need to put it uh, to put it uh, to put the power on, but. Uh, this is the free arm of the machine where you can uh, use it to to sew things like sleeves and uh, pants and things like this or to hem uh, around the uh, things and as, uh, as I had on the other one also here on the back side is a compartment and on the front side also this is getting out, this is used for the presser foot and this is used to keep the uh, spool, uh, the, the, tre the spools uh, in it. It has, um, it has enough space. So let's see, this is getting here back. The machine a little bit to the back to get a little bit more room. Yes, it's getting closed. I have from the older machine, I have also an uh, extension table that is uh, also here. This is uh, the, the puff machines, they have different uh, categories. So mine is uh, in, uh, um, in the class uh, G. So all the accessories that they are on different machines from the same class, you can, you can, uh, you can use them. Okay, let's see what we get uh, in this uh, little bag. Let's see. Uh, 
Okay, it goes away, the machine a little bit to the side. Let's see. This is a stylus that is getting used uh, for the touch screen. This is an LCD uh, touch uh, screen. And this is getting here on to the side. It has a groove where you can pop it in to uh, have it uh, handy. The touch screen is also uh, can be uh, uh, used uh, with, uh, with, with, with your uh, control with your uh, with your fingers let's see we get the sim reaper very important this is an um, electronic uh, a button hole uh, foot that is getting used on the machine and uh, it has uh, also a foot that you can use for a manual uh, for a manual buttonhole. I never use this one. I only use, I always use this one, but I think this is really useful when your uh, buttonhole is uh, I don't know kind of special size or something like this. And uh, this both of these the the, the, the the puff it has of course their IDT um, system the, the double transport uh, feed and that one this two ones two feet are to be used without the IDT engaged. Also other feet there is uh, the standard one here is another one that is also a little bit standard but this one has no groove for the IDT um, uh, system. Also here we have the quarter inch uh, quilt foot which I use a lot especially when I want to be accurate on uh, on uh, top stitching or, thi or things like that and it has also uh, only one small hole for straight stitch it's also very useful when used with uh, fine uh, fabrics the blind hand foot is also getting in this uh, with this machine and here another one also standard foot and this is for free uh, hand uh, quilting free motion and the zipper foot with this machine you will not get a um, blind zipper foot this is something that you have to buy uh, separately like I did on my other one and it's also something that I can use on this one this is the standard puff uh, blind uh, zipper foot this is from plastic it's clear I really like it because you can see what you are doing and this is another foot that is uh, I read in the book that is for the um, for the really wide uh, um, special stitches and also for the four-way uh, stitches that they have in this machine. It's a really is a foot with a really wide uh, hole here. Okay, let's see. So these are the feet that are really easy to be stored here in this uh, in this small things if I am not wrong and I hope I'm not uh, this one here needs to be popped in here otherwise it's too long I think it's a very neat way to uh, keep your uh, let's see to keep your presser foot presser feet on a handy in one uh, one place let's see this one here this one here and I have even space for my blind zipper foot that is not uh, as I said is not included in this uh, with this machine also I'm always keeping my uh, buttonhole foot here behind I really like that this machine has uh, a lot of uh, space to, uh, to keep the things uh, on hand. Okay, let's see. Next, uh, you get uh, a box with needles, sewing machine needles, um, a guide for quilting, a brush to make your machine uh, 
clean, which I use a lot. A net for threads that are getting very uh, easy uh, from the spool. And you also get four, yes, four spool, uh, thread spools. A screwdriver and this is that little plate that is uh, helping you getting over when you are sewing uh, over uh, thick seams to keep your uh, foot even your uh, uh, presser foot uh, even to get over you know if you are if you need to have like a, like a jeans or uh, you know thick seams this is helping to uh, to keep everything neat and uh, equal that you can uh, you don't have uh, skip stitches or really small stitches and everything is getting really nice so and also a few caps for the spools field one and another spool and also for the screen you have um, a small sheet of uh, microfiber uh, uh, I'm not coming out of my word and uh, something also extra that uh, is getting delivered with this machine is a, a straight stitch uh, needle plate with a small hole that is also very useful when uh, sewing with uh, fine fabrics and when you don't want those fabrics when the, there is the risk to get the fabric that is getting into the dog feet you can use this one with a very small hole for, of course, only for uh, straight uh, stitching. Let's see. I'm going to push this a little bit away. The knee lift, of course, as I said. The cables for the power and the pedal. The pedal and the book. And this is what you get with your machine. So let's see, as I said, this is uh, uh, the moment a present that you get when buying a machine from the expression line. And let's see what we get in it. They say that there is uh, a clear uh, presser foot, a Teflon foot, also extra um, thread spools. Um, let's see, uh, needles metallic needles, a seam gauge, some um, pins, let's see, let's open it and see what exactly is inside, I want to get this out, I'm just going to open it, let's see. It's always nice to get a present. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. This somewhere here. Yes, I think this is much better. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is um, a brochure with uh, all the, I think, with the all the, the presser fit that you can get for your machine. I have a few of these and who knows, this is a good uh, uh, way to see uh, what the other things I can uh, buy for my machine. So this. Next. Uh, these are really cool. <laughs> they are colored ones, very fun. I had them also for my other machine. And there are 20. 20 spools. Okay, next we have here the Teflon foot and this is something I did not have and I think I'm going to use it. You know you can use this to sew with uh, leather or with uh, micro uh, uh, fibers. Sometimes they are not getting really easy under the machine, under the presser foot. So this is uh, something that I'm going to use a lot I think. Uh, the other um, foot that you get is the clear open toe foot with the IDT uh, system. Is this one? And you can see it like this. I find the clear foot um, 
uh, clear uh, presser fit I find them really uh, really nice and really uh, because you can see what you're really doing so especially when uh, top stitching or uh, making uh, precise sewing uh, clear presser fit is always nice this is a seam reaper from uh, Guterman and uh, I saw this a lot on the internet I never had one and they say that it's really sharp and that with this point and with this one you can remove the the thread very easy after you used the seam reaper I'm going to give this a try I'm really curious if it's really so uh, so good so this is also in the box let's put it for the moment back let's see next we get needles from Inspira and you get one, you get two size 80 and also the seam gauge I think this one, I had a similar one but I'm not really using it nice to have it on hand I think you get a plastic uh, pin, uh, uh, plastic head pins. I'm not going to use this because I always, I'm uh, careful to have the um, glass uh, head ones because I'm afraid that I had at the moment uh, plastic head ones and I melted one on a project I was making. So these are not going to uh, be used in my uh, sewing uh, room. Okay. Um, this is a centimeter measuring tape also from with a puff logo on it and it feels like it's a very nice quality with the inch measurements and centimeters on the other side and this is a one and a half meter long or 60 inches also nice in a nice uh, plastic box we have that let's see and I think I'm going to open this I think this is a piece of fabric also from Guterman Creative they do have a fabric line uh, I think it's a uh, I don't know maybe cotton yes not really my type of uh, print but it feels like it's a nice quality and here you can see it it's pretty nice though maybe to make like a small wallet or something like that okay uh, let's see I want to see if they put it here what kind of fabric it is but I cannot see that uh, no I can see that and of course I think this is the most value of this box are a lot of uh, thread uh, spools from Guterman very nice quality with um, uh, metallic uh, thread and with uh, thicker thread I think as I really love the metallic ones and I really need to find a project to get to them uh, to good use so and this is uh, these are the last the last uh, things that you get in your uh, present box from uh, from the expression line. So this was the unboxing of my new uh, sewing machine, the Puff uh, from the expression line 720. I can't wait to start sewing with it, and I have a few exciting uh, projects that I'm going to uh, to to start uh, using uh, this machine with. Um, I think the, the box, I don't know if it's really 200 euros value, but I really like uh, what is inside and there are some things that I'm uh, really going to use, like the, the presser fit and uh, the needles and the spools and the thread is really, really cool. Um, in the next video, in the next uh, weeks, I'm going to make a few videos on features of this uh, sewing machine and I am pretty sure that there are going to be a lot of things that I would love with it. But uh, as I said, it's here a big book that needs to be uh, um, uh, from a page to page read. I, there, I am lucky because 
the other machine I had it has a lot of uh, uh, features that this one also has so uh, this that those parts are going to be easy but I'm going to make videos on uh, things um, that uh, I uh, love about this machine so if you want you can uh, come back here to to see those don't forget you can subscribe to my channel and you if you put your notifications on you will always get a message when a new video is uh, get it, uh, uh, is uh, coming online this was the unboxing i hope you enjoy it and i hope it's going to help you a little bit here in your quest on uh, uh, finding a new sewing machine so this is what i had to say thank you so much for watching uh, i hope to to see you here back again and if you have any questions about uh, this machine or about any futures if you want to see them or if you are not sure that this machine has them please put them in the comment and i'll uh, try uh, to do my best to help you thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye